there are some things we can't really see, yet that have a huge impact on our well-being. We can't see air, but we breathe it in. Neither can we see electricity, but it produces light and warmth. Similarly, we can't see free radicals, but they are at work in every one of us. Free radicals are also known as oxidants, the byproducts of oxygen that is burnt every time we breathe in air. A normal oxygen molecule has four pairs of electrons. Through metabolism and other mechanisms, a molecule may lose one of its electrons, thus becoming incomplete and very reactive. In its unstable state, the free radical aggressively attacks and steals electrons from other molecules in order to stabilize itself. This causes the hijacked molecules to lose electrons, subsequently leading to a chain reaction of free radicals. Lifestyle factors complicate matters even more. Heavy exercise, emotional stress, physical trauma, pollution, alcohol, cigarette smoke, deep-fried foods, all contribute in generating higher levels of oxidants. Over time, the onslaught of oxidation can cause damage and destruction of the very cells within our body. This leads to faster aging and the development of degenerative diseases. The medical industry is too focused on disease treatment instead of disease prevention. Patients expect the medical industry to treat problems that adequate diet, exercise and nutritional supplements could have prevented. The damage done by free radicals in the human body is similar to the oxidation of metals rusting and cut apples turning brown. To prevent or slow down the process, we apply gloss paint to the metal and squeeze lemon juice on the apple. This is what antioxidants do for our body. An antioxidant molecule neutralizes free radicals by donating an electron while maintaining its own stability. Sufficient antioxidant protection will help prevent or stop the chain reaction of damage that leads to diseases. Prevention can avoid high costs of treatment and medications. Studies have shown that antioxidants like beta-carotene, vitamin E, and vitamin C play an important role in decreasing signs of premature aging and the risk of heart disease, cancer, stroke, and many other degenerative diseases. The trend today is for people to eat more processed food and less fresh fruit and vegetables. The Ministry of Health advises that our diet includes a minimum of five servings of fruits and vegetables every day. How many people actually can follow this advice? Many do not even realize that the vitamin contents of fruits and vegetables has dropped significantly over the years. This poses a dilemma of proportions to the human body. A low antioxidant status that is allowed to go undetected puts your health and well-being in positions of great risk. On the other hand, because everyone metabolizes antioxidants differently, it may be ineffective to simply increase the intake of only one or two when there is a range of antioxidants that the body needs. How can you find out if your level of antioxidants is adequate and sufficient? The most affordable and effective option is the free radical test. Using only a small sample of urine, this home-based test offers a powerful way of deciding on any necessary diet or supplement change. Medical research at a major university has shown that this test is 50 times more sensitive than any blood or plasma testing. Getting results is easy. The free radical test is non-invasive and requires no needles, no blood drawn and no visits to the doctor. The test measures oxidative byproducts and delivers a more complete and accurate diagnosis than testing antioxidant levels. A graphic color chart allows quick and easy interpretation of where you are on the antioxidant protection scale. Having a high level of free radicals and not knowing it is one thing. Having the ability to check one's level of free radicals yet not taking the test is putting yourself at risk. All that mankind needs for good health and healing is provided in nature.
The challenge is for science to find it. Antioxidants are an advantage to human health. Now it's just about finding the right balance.